Uh, greetings, comrades. The powerhouse bus terminals that the city of Johannesburg is targeting transport goods across the Sadak region, running into millions of friends. Goods are transported by road, and the powerhouse bus terminals plays a key role in transporting these goods across the Sadak continent. But the Johannesburg City Council has decided to target powerhouse bus terminals, claiming that it is an illegal run bus terminals, something which is not true. Powerhouse is a business entity that is operating legally. But we know the reasons of targeting powerhouse. It's simple that you have to hate black Africans for a simple reason that they are black, not born in South Africa, for political expedience. We are going to the 2024 elections. And you need to appear to be anti-migrant to try and win votes. And this is what Ken Hunen and his team are doing. Just to hate black Africans who are not born in South Africa, just disregard the economic contribution that they are making to the city of Johannesburg and the Hauteng as a province in South Africa is economy. If you talk to any business person around Johannesburg, they will tell you that migrants that use the buses at Powerhouse purchase goods from them worth millions of friends annually. The city of Johannesburg is, is, is a benefiting financially from the powerhouse bus terminals. But because for political expedience, you have to go there armed or surrounded with the traffic cops and everyone else in the name of writing an illegal business and begin to shoot the videos to try and appeal to some political constituency that uh, you are indeed on a war path against the illegal immigrants, as it were. What if the Johannesburg City Council is genuine? But of course, as I've said, is the whole idea is to target black Africans simply because they are not born in South Africa to try and increase your votes in 2024. If this was not the case, the normal procedure would be simple to make a phone call to powerhouse management or business owners to say, we note that you are running a business in Bramfontein, Johannesburg. Can you please supply us with your documents to show that you are running a legal business? show us that you are paying taxes, it is registered, you are pay paying taxes, you are compliant in everything. But uh, because it's a campaign against the black people, that does not get done. You then mobilize, as, as a senior official of the city of Johannesburg, and they go and they raid for a simple reason, that the majority of travelers who actually purchase goods in South African supermarkets, which benefits the business or the economy of Johannesburg, simple because they are black and not born in, in South Africa. That's, that's the whole explanation about the powerhouse raid by Kenny Hunen and his team. It has got nothing to do with the legality, whether people are running a legal uh, tax rank or bus terminals, no. Because if they wanted to establish if indeed the business is registered, it's simple to summon the owners of the te tax, uh, bus terminals. Provide us with the proof that you are running a registered business entity, you are paying in taxes, and uh, you respect the bylaws of the city of Johannesburg. Provide us with all this information. If the owners fail to provide the city of Johannesburg with that information, 
the city of Johannesburg will then instruct them either to comply or to close down. If the owners fail to meet the deadline of closing down, it is then that they can go and force to close down the bus terminals. But all this is not being done. Simple because it's a political campaign, a political campaign against the black people who are not born in South Africa. That's the whole campaign. And they're hoping that if you target black people not born in South Africa, you are likely to increase your votes in 2024. It's very sad. Very, very sad. Please share your views. I am Mabuto Nicholas Mapena. Write in the comment section. Please circulate this video. Uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you are on TikTok, please.